Good morning. Hey y'all. So today I was in a little bit of a funk. I decided that I'm going to get my ass up and do something about it. So the first thing I'm getting up as usual, I'm making my bed. Listen, it's just something about making your bed in the morning when you come back in the house and you see it. It just gives you a better feeling. You know what I'm saying? And it makes you be productive. Along with that, I kind of straightened up a little bit. Anything I had on my little side table, I cleared off. I did a little extra. I dusted a little bit, you know, just to have a clean space. Because I know that when my environment is clean, my mental health thrives, you know. So if you're in a little slump, girl, just get up and clean your space. Check your environment and make sure that it's clean. Because clean environment gives us a clear mental health. I did my whole hygiene routine. I did my skincare routine and everything. And I just was just thinking, like, what do I have to do today to get myself in a good spot? And usually when I'm in a slump, it doesn't happen in one day or a couple hours. It takes a couple days for me. But listen, today I was dedicated to, like, fight for my mental health and just like get back into a good space so sit back relax girlies and let's get into today's video As much as I love having my nails and stuff done, I hate coming to the nail salon. I got here at 10.08 a.m. and it is 12.57. The process, I just, I just, I just cannot. But we move. slump because I've been on go and I haven't like paused and like dealt with my thoughts and just like you know I haven't read my bible I have not journaled in a minute so I'm getting back into that routine I've been on go and even though I've been on go I brought my bible and my little bible study book with me um I haven't brought my journal I kind of tucked my journal away so I think I just need to get back into like reading the word. A couple weeks ago, I was very in tune with waking up, reading my Bible, and doing this type of Bible study that I found on TikTok. And it really helped me mentally. And I have not been doing that, which I think I need to get back into the word. And I feel like I've been scrolling a lot. And I, there are so many signs that God is saying just like, come to me like you know what i'm saying so not to get all spiritual or religious or anything like that but like god will talk to you like he will figure out a way to get his message across and basically what i've been seeing lately and what i've been hearing lately cast all your affairs onto god like you know like give put everything on god like bring it to god and you'll be okay and yeah i need to do that the first thing that i have here so this is my little prior journal aka study um study journal and my bible so i found this type of um bible like reading my bible ways to get into the bible because i re i i've always wanted to like start reading my bible and everything like that um but i just never know how to go about it do i just open it and read like the verse but like god has been sending me like different verses along the way that i that just been resonating with me kind of where i am in the moment whether it's just like me scrolling on tiktok and it popped up or like I'm, I see it somewhere like or it just came into my heart to like go to this page or something it's crazy because I'm not like oh my gosh like the perfect Christian but I just want to deepen my relationship with God and just like he is showing up I found this method on TikTok it's called the soap method the scripture your observation of the scripture ap application so you're applying it to your life in prayer as it relates to like what you read so that's kind of what I'm going to do. 
Um, and then I have not journaled like my regular personal or just like dump my thoughts in this book since school went out. And I'm going to even give y'all a more specific date. June. It just says June. <laughs> it says June priorities. And I did journal a little bit, but that's it. It's no date on there, but June. And that's, and that's, for me, I went from journaling like daily or five, six times a week to like none at all. And I feel like that my mental health really does well when I am able to journal, dump out my thoughts. I still go to therapy. That alone doesn't help. You know what I'm saying? I need to be in tune with myself as well. That's what I am about to do. I have my little pencil case. I use an expo marker. I need to buy a um I need to buy some Sharpies. Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a rundown of everything. So, like the title says and like the intro was saying, I am in a very like slum spot, especially now. Um, and there are so many factors that contribute to like just where I am mentally right now. I just want to preface by saying, I don't know if I said this in the intro. However, when usually when I'm in a slum, it's not just a one day thing. It usually takes me a couple days to get myself together, obviously. So, um i did everything the whole hygiene routine and everything like that i did i was gonna take my braids out today um because it's time however i don't really have anybody to braid it for me so i am just gonna put a wig over i'm gonna try i'm gonna attempt to put a wig over it hopefully it's good it stays and you know whatever um i got my nails did the same way i did them for mexico um i didn't feel like thinking of a design or thinking of a shape and all that so i just literally told a lady she did them last time so i just told her to do the exact same thing i love french like ugh. i just love it i love it and i really think i like all men shape on me um i really do i think i like it but anyway my hair is still somewhat dripping i'm gonna go on the road i love flowers so i'm gonna go buy me some i just decided to get dressed and actually put on real clothes because I'm a sucker for when I'm in a slum to just be like in PJs or like a big t-shirt and I'm in a house just bumming it out. I actually put clothes on today. Um, I try to do my edges a little bit. Don't come for me. Back up. <laughs> um, and my hair is still very much wet. I'm going to stop by Target as well to get the Mayo um, hair oil so that I can oil my scalp. And later on I'm going to try to put a wig on actually to do a sponsored content i feel better already just by getting up reading my back i just feel better already get up and get dressed y'all y'all in the slum get up and get dressed just get up you don't even gotta put on makeup like i don't even have makeup on because on my skin is working out right now but yeah so yeah we're gonna get some flowers i'm excited um you know, we don't always have to wait on people to get us stuff that we love. We can also get it ourselves. I don't see a problem with that. I usually buy flowers for myself all the time without anybody buying it for me. I mean, I have sweets that buy me flowers as well. However, like that's bonus. Like I can buy it for myself as well. So we're going to go to Whole Foods, I think, to go get flowers. I was going to go to the produce junction, but it's 3.30 and I'm pretty sure all the good ones are gone. You get what I'm saying? So I'm going to go to Whole Foods to see if I can get a nice little bouquet. And I'm stopping by Target. And yeah. So guys, this is the OOTD. Like I got real clothes on. I got these cargos from Fashion Nova. They didn't come like this. Um, I cut the foot myself. Crop top from Fashion Nova. This little cross bag is from Steve Madding. I got it a couple years ago. Watch and just some jewelry and i got these shades from amazon and that's why bad girl i'm a type not now it's a so i said i wasn't gonna go to the produce junction right i ended up here so I did find some flowers. The some of them that they had were a little bit dingy, but 
I found these. They're really nice and pretty. They're pink. I've been loving pink lately. Getting to like very much girly. Um, but yeah, these are pretty. Now I'm on the road. I kind of just want to stay on the road. I don't know if I mentioned, but I am at home by myself currently. It's just me. And it's very much <laughs> lonely. <laughs> um, I was going to go back to New York yesterday. Um, but Swiss is coming today. So I won't be lonely for long. Um, so he's coming for the weekend. I told him, I said, listen. I mean, I was going to go, but then the traffic yesterday was crazy. It was saying like five hour drive. I was just like, yeah, I love you, but no. <laughs> um, and I was just like, I need you. And he was just like, he's coming today. So he is coming today so my brain is working right now i do want to go to target to pick up some stuff um i was gonna go to get food it's four o'clock right now i haven't eaten and i have this migraine that's coming um i have this migraine lately for the past like week i've been having this consistent migraine and i don't know and i feel like a part of it is just looks like I feel like a part of it is just not me eating one time. So I need to eat. It's 4 o'clock. Um, I was going to go to Starbucks. But y'all, I didn't know this day would come. But I low-key can't stand Starbucks right now. Lately, everything has been just like making me nauseous. I don't know how to explain it. But everything has been making me nauseous lately. And no, I'm not pregnant. So yeah, simmer down. I think I want to take myself on like a little solo date to Red Lobster. I really am craving their margarita, their frozen margarita. So I'll probably go and obviously I'm going to get something to eat. But I really am taking that drive just for the margarita. I do want to go to Old Navy as well. They have a sale. Well, I don't have a sale, but I have some coupons for Old Navy that I kind of want to go see what they have so I can use it. Um... But yeah, we're just gonna be on a road today. Wait, there's a wait here, so I'm at Red Lobster right now. There's a wait, so I'm just sitting by the bar. Um, but he didn't wait. Um, but we're gonna get something to eat because my head hurts like really badly. Y'all are on an angle because I didn't bring my tripod in here, it's too big. So I definitely didn't bring it. I'm gonna drink, but I need to eat something before I actually start drinking because my head is gonna hurt. My head hurts so bad. do the where is it the lobster dip okay. appetizer okay. for now i don't know about Still the meal yet yeah i have some rolls i'll fill you in a second also thank you so i order my drinking drink and appetizer i really don't feel like i want a meal so we just we're about to leave red lobster that was so freaking amazing like i always hear people talk about like solo dating and like how amazing it is and i'm just like eh, i don't know but that was so good like i really just enjoyed my own company granted i was like scrolling through social media but I was just doing what I want. It was really good. I was there for about an hour. So. I was there for about an hour. I only got one drink with the extra shot. That was good enough. Um, I'm about to go to the market. So I can pick up groceries. So that I can cook. Sweets is requesting. I make these like drumsticks in the oven. But then I make the sauce. The secret is in the sauce. And every time I make that chicken, everybody goes crazy. So he, I made it the other day when I was in New York, like the night before I left. And so he had like some to bring to work or whatever. Um, and it's finished. <laughs> so he's like, he's been requesting it. So he apparently wants that with white rice and broccoli. Um, I need to pick up rice and chicken and my secret ingredients. But y'all all in all i feel good i don't feel like i'm in a slum anymore um but it's not that easy you know it's easy to fall back into the slum and everything like that but just actively doing things to not have my mind wander or like 
have my mental health going back in a certain specific way so just like getting up whether it's just like working out i paused my gym membership for the summer so that wasn't an option for me um, i could have gone for a walk or whatever all that would work it's hot as hell outside so i'm not even going to do all that but like you know whatever works for you like if you're currently in a slum just get up and get out do what do you like i feel like sometimes we focus on we're focused on receiving happiness from other people um but think about what makes you happy what can you do to yourself to make you happy like and it doesn't have to be like these specific 10 things and you have to hit all 10 things like it could just be random stuff you know whether it's three out of the 10 things that'll make you feel good um so you know some days it's just me getting up and getting dressed and i feel better or like me just going to grab flowers whatever the case might be go shopping that helps me all the time um i am gonna do a little bit of real retail, retail shopping it's 6 30 now i want to get started on dinner though um so i'm gonna go to the walmart and right where the walmart is there's the old navy so yeah all in all y'all solo dating solo date was 10 out of 10 i would i'm definitely looking forward to doing that again um it was it was really good it was empowering too because i sat at the bar because when i first got in it was no hostess at the front and i saw like people waiting so i was just like yeah i'm not doing that so i just sat at the bar it wasn't crowded at the bar at all i think maybe like two more people were there and like two other ladies came next to me but i was just like in my zone and yeah it was good the bartender was great as well so 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend we are back home so i'm just gonna put my flowers up in a vase this is honestly my favorite part they're so pretty um i love putting them like on my side table or on my dresser just to like look at them like every time i look at them i feel some type of joy i can assure you like i ended my day on a high today felt so good i'm just thinking about the transformation from how i started my day to how i'm ending my day is just a complete 180 i am so excited to get up and do something else for myself the next day so if you're in a slum get up and do something that makes you happy it might not take one day but just choosing yourself every single day will definitely help Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye y'all.